Hello! So today I thought I'd show you how to make banana loaf. Um, it's a recipe that I've been making for many years now. Um, I originally got it from BBC Good Foods website. It's called uh, Brilliant Banana Loaf and I'm going to show you how to make it. The ingredients you will need to make this banana loaf are 140 grams of butter, 140 grams of caster sugar, 140 grams of self-raising flour, two large eggs, and two ripe bananas. After that, you want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Then you'll need to get a mixing bowl and mix together the butter and the sugar and mix until light and fluffy. cup and beat the eggs together. Once the eggs are beaten together you want to slowly add it to the butter and the sugar mix. Uh, this might curdle but if you add a little bit of flour into the mix as well it will stop it from curdling. Then you need to fold in the remaining uh, part of the flour within the mixture. Uh, keep folding that until the mixture is smooth. If it's uh, a bit thick, you can add a bit of milk to the mixture. Once the mixture is smooth, you then need to mash the bananas. Uh, you can do this in the skin or as I like to do it um, in a food processor to make it more smoother. Uh, you don't have to use a food processor you can mush it with a fork if you'd like once the banana is mushed up you then add it to the mixture so I'm the only one that likes banana loaf so I'm going to make smaller ones using this tin the next step is to line the tins so I'm using butter here I've got a little bit of kitchen roll to help smooth the butter around the tins. Once the tins are all lined, you then pour in the mixture. And bake for about 30 minutes until um, a knife or anything you can stab into the cake comes out clean. If uh, the cake needs a little bit longer, uh, keep it in the oven until cooked. Once the cake is cooked, take it out of the oven and allow it to cool for about 10 minutes and then remove it from the tins to a wire rack. Once the cake has cooled down enough, you can then try it. I like to try it with a cup of tea. Thanks for watching. I hope I've inspired you to make banana loaf. If I have, show me your pictures in the comments below and I look forward to seeing them. And I'll see you next time. See you later.